गुड मॉर्निंग सर माई सेल्फ आदर्श कुमार गुप्ता एंड माई रजिस्ट्रेशन नंबर इज ट्वेंटी वन एम सी एम सी ट्वेंटी वन हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द वम्पस वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द वम्पस वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम रूल्स डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड एवरीथिंग देयर विल बी अ फोर क्रॉस फोर ग्रीड ऑफ रूम्स एज वी आर सींग हियर देयर आर फोर कॉलम्स एंड फोर रोज दैट मीन्स देर इज सिक्सटीन स्क्वायर्स आर सिक्सटीन रूम्स देर विल बी एन एजेंट हियर वी आर सींग देर इज एन एजेंट हुज गोल इज टू फाइंड द गोल्ड हिज गोल इज टू फाइंड द गोल्ड गोल्ड हियर वी आर सींग दिस इज गोल्ड एंड ब्रिंग इट बैक टू द स्टार्ट विदाउट गेटिंग किल्ड विदाउट गेटिंग किल्ड एजेंट हैज टू बैक ऑन द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट दिस इज द एजेंट गोल ओके द एजेंट ऑलवेज स्टार्ट इन वन वन एज वी आर सींग हियर फर्स्ट रो एंड फर्स्ट कॉलम एंड फेसिंग टू द राइट ऑलवेज एजेंट फेस टू द राइट साइड इन द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट एंड कीप इन माइंड द एजेंट हैज ओनली वन एरो ओके एंड नेक्स्ट द एजेंट परसीव एजेंट कैन फील वॉट अ स्टेंच इन द स्क्वायर कंटेनिंग द वम्पस एंड इन द एडजेसेंट स्क्वायर नॉट डायगोनली हियर वी आर सींग देर इज स्टेंच सो एजेंट कैन फील स्टेंच वेन वेयर द वम्पस इज प्रेजेंट in that room in the adjacent room of the wampus we are saying there is stench there is stench and also there is stench because in this room wampus is present so the so the agent can feel agent can smell the stench okay but not diagonally not this not this next a bridge in the squares adjacent to a pit here we are saying there is pit so in the adjacent room of the pit there is bridge agent can feel this a glitter in the square where the gold is wherever the gold is present a glitter will be seen by the agent here the uh, here is a gold so glitter will be seen by the agent a bump if it walks into a wall if the agent walks into the wall then a bump sound can be heard in over the cave a scream everywhere in the cave if the wampus killed if the wampus killed a scream can also be heard everywhere in the cave okay now here a stand for agent and i have seen here i, I we are seeing here that there is no stench and no breach in the room 11 so what implies it it implies that there is no one person one two there is no one person two one because there is no stench in one one room okay that's why i have written here okay okay means this room is safe and here a stand for agent so that that's why i have written here negation of s11 it means there is no stench as stand for stench there is no stench in one one room so implies that there is no one person one one and there is no one person one two and there is no one person two one i have written here okay the next move of the agent is to go forward in two one room here a stand for agent here agent can feel a bridge b stand for bridge so here there is bridge here agent can feel a bridge so it it can be good for the agent that go uh, come back go back in the room 11 11 so agent will come back in the room one one because here here he feels some bridge what implies it it implies that that can be a pit in either in this room or in this room that is in two two room or three one room okay so it will be good for the agent that go back i have written here in the room 21 there is no stench that's why i have written there is no stench in 21 room implies there is no one person 11 there is no one person 21 and there is no one person 22 and also there is no one person 31 because here the agent is not feeling the stench that's why i have written this rule if i have if i am saying there is no stench in 12 then what can we write 
there is no vampus and uh, there is no stains in one two it means that there is no vampus in one one and there is no vampus in two two and also there is no vampus in one three that's why i have written this rule if there is no stench in one two i am saying now here the agent fills some breach so it implies that that means there can be either in this room or in this room there can be a pit because here the agent fills some breach okay so it will be good for the agent to go back and move in the forward direction that is in the room 1 2 that's why the agent has come back in the room 1 1 and move forward in the room 1 2 and here the agent feel stench as stand for stench here the agent feel stench it means that there can be one person in the either in this room either in this room or in this room but one person cannot be in this room because already i have visited this place here we stand for visited and also here we stand for visited so uh, there 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 can be no vampus in this room and also in this room so here the agent feels stench that is i have written as 1 2 it means there is stench in 1 2 room so there can be vampus in either in this room or in this room or in this room i have written here there is vampus in 1 3 room or there is one person in 1 2 or there is one person in 2 2 or there is one person in 1 1 okay so here but already we had visited this place and here we had seen that there is no stench in the room 2 1 this implies that this means there is there will be no one person in 2 2 room because there is no stench that's why this room 2 2 becomes safe so the agent will move in the room 2 2 and move forward in the room 2 3 when the agent enters in the room 2 3 he feels some stench breeze and uh, he sees gold there is stench in 2 3 what it means it means there can be a either in this room either in this room either in this room either in this room can be a one pass but in uh, there can be no one person in this room because i have already visited this place here in this room agent also fills some breach it implies that there can be a pit either in this room or in this room but already the agent had seen the gold so the agent grab the gold and back to the our starting point without getting killed by the one person now we are applying the modus ponens with the negation of s11 and r1 here our r1 is this and negation of s11 it means there is no stench in 11 room so we are here we are applying the modus ponens with the r1 and negation of s11 so let us consider this is p statement this is q statement and this is also p statement according to modus ponens if p is true and p implies q is true then q has to be true that's why we are getting here this and applying and elimination this and elimination to this we get three sentences this 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 we have written here and again what are we doing applying modus ponens to the negation of s21 and r2 what is r2 here our r2 and negation of s21 that is there is no stench in 21 room okay we are applying modus ponens let us consider again this is p statement q and p if p is true and p implies q is true then q has to be true according to modus ponens and again we are eliminating and operation to this we get this 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 okay here we have not written negation of w11 because i have already written here that's why again what are we doing we are applying modus ponens to the s12 s12 means there is stench in 12 and r4 what are r4 what is r4 this is r4 and there is stench in 1 2 room here we are applying modus ponens this according to this rule modus ponens we get Q has to be true. This, okay. 
and applying unit resolution on this here we are getting here and negation of w11 what it means there is no one person the first room one one so according to unit resolution resolution principle here w11 that is there is one pus in one one and negation of w11 it can be cancelled out according to resolution principle and we get this here i have written again we are applying unit resolution with this and negation of w22 what it means there is no one person two two room so according to resolution principle this w22 and negation of w22 will be cancel out and we will get this here i have written again we are applying unit resolution with this and negation of w12 that is there is no one person one two so according to resolution principle w12 and negation of w12 will be cancel out and we will get w13 that means there is one pus in one three room already uh, in the starting we have seen there is one pus in the room one three so we have proved thank you hello sir i am abhishek sharma and my registration number is 21 mc mc 07 now i will play the one pus world game and explain the logical reasoning behind each step so let's start first of all we have uh, this 4x4 four four grid which have total 16 caves connected with each other. Currently my agent is at 1,1 1, coordinate and agent can perceive 5 sensors namely stench, breeze, glitter, bump and scream. Now let's play the game. Here we have a forward arrow. This is my backward arrow this is by this control agent can jump into the wall and this hand symbol is for agent can grab the gold and this is a arrow by which agent can kill the bumpers and this ladder is to come out of the game and win the game so let's start now let me use the forward arrow button and jump into the wall. Currently, at this position 2 comma 1, I cannot perceive any breeze, glitter, or stench. So I can walk either this way or this way, but not diagonally. I can go go to 3 comma 1 or 2 comma 2 so let's go to 3 comma 1 let me use this symbol now i perceive a breeze here so it there at th 3 comma 2 or 4 comma 2 and 4 comma 1 can have pit so agent will fall into it so let's go back to my 2 comma 1 position that i use forward arrow and jump back to goal so so i have to try 2 comma 2 position as there is no as agent did not perceive any sensor here let's go to 2 comma 2 position at this position, I didn't perceive any breeze, glitter, or any stench. So let's move. But I cannot move to 3 comma 2 position as I already perceived breeze here. So let's go to this position 1 comma 2. As you can see, I cannot perceive any glitter, breeze or stench here. So I can move to 1 comma 3 position easily. Now, as you can see, 
I perceive a stance here. So Wampus can be at 1,4 position or it can be at 2,3 position. So what I have to do, I have to come back because I cannot move forward. Now I can move to 2,2 position. I cannot perceive anything here. Let's move to two comma two position. As you can see, breeze is also present here. So at four comma two position, it can be here. So I I have to be alert and I have to come back from here also. Let's move to two comma three position. I cannot perceive anything here. So I think I have to move to two comma four position. I perceive a stands here so wampus can be here here or here 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 or here wampus can be here so i think i have to come back here so now i have to move to three comma three position which is looking safe I perceive breeze also here, so pit can be here and here. This position is 4, 3 and this position is 2, 4. I cannot move here and here. So what I have to do? I have to use an arrow, I think. by moving to two comma three position let's use an arrow no one plus is not here i think i have to move to two comma four position as no one plus is there i think one plus is at one comma four position so I have, I have to use an arrow there. I think my arrow is finished. I found the gold at, as you can clearly see, I found the glitter at three comma four position. So I can easily grab it. This hand symbol is to grab the gold so I can use it. Now I grab the gold here. So I have to come back to my initial position here. I bump into a two comma four position. Now I have to come back at one comma three, one comma two, and one and two comma one. Now I have to come back to one comma one initial position and use the letter symbol to win the game. So as you can see, I won, I score 911 points and I won the game. That's all about Wampus World problem and the logical reasoning behind each step. Thank you, that's all about the lecture.